Hey guys, Mesdude here. I made a Nintendo and a Super Nintendo and a toaster. The controller parts are where the crumb tray was. On this other side, there was the power AV hookups and system switch. And the lever on the side here works the reset button. The system I used is a uh, Yobo SD3+. Plus. I used the dust covers on top and it hides the boards. Turn it on and the LED lights up next to the label uh, show what system it is. Currently it's just masking tape, but I'll make more permanent la labels later. And I'll show you some gameplay. You may be asking yourself, doesn't the SC3 Plus have a Sega system too? Well, it did until it crapped out on me. You know, it would go to a black screen or like an error would pop up every time and I could not get a game to play on that thing. So I took, I took the Sega board and uh, extended the wires so I could get it out of the way. So I could stick the uh, Nintendo Super Nintendo boards closer together to have a, how the way it is now. Let's try the NES with some Power Punch 2. Hard to believe that Nintendo thought this game would have been a good sequel to Punch Out. I took off the crappy controller plugs that uh, the SC3 Plus used, which everybody hates, and hooked up the SNES controller hookups, as you saw. I would like to say a thanks to um, analhegas.com. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but uh, her um, thank you for her video on her channel for the review of uh, the FC3 Plus and controller mod. That really helped me out. For anybody considering to make one of these or just altering the connectors or even the controllers to your system, here's a chart that can help. Just be patient and study what you're doing very carefully. And good luck to you. It took me a few hours every night for a couple of weeks uh, to make this thing. Uh, problem solve, arrange. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this, and thanks for watching. This crystal.